We're gonna talk about inventory today. Don't you use that language with me, young man. There's no cursing on this YouTube channel. Hola, you amazing artist. Today I am doing inventory. As some of you know, I don't have a lot of room in my house for a lot of my work. One of the things that I always recommend to everybody is that no matter what, you should always, always, always create work, even if you don't have space for it. So how do you do that? How do you create work if you don't have the room to be able to put the work? One of the things you could do is get a storage container, which is something that I do not recommend. I don't recommend ever getting a storage container for artwork. I guess the other thing you could do is give it to friends and family and see if they have room or like a spare room or something in their house. The other thing you could do is just start stacking it up everywhere in your house, anywhere where there's room. Just, just stack it up. Stack it up. One of the things that I like to do when I'm running out of room is to put pieces in businesses, local businesses around town. That's always a great option because that way, instead of your pieces being stored somewhere, you actually have your pieces out where people can see them and you are technically storing your art as well. So if you are going to do that, what is important is that you find a way to keep track of your work, to go out and visit your work and know exactly what it is that you have out there. Okay, so off we are to do our errands and... No, we're not doing errands. What are we doing today? We're doing gallery visits. By the way, if you're going to do this, um, one thing that I recommend is that you have a contract with whatever businesses it is that you're going to take your work and hang your work up. If you reach some kind of agreement or something with them, make sure that you have a contract that states that if your work gets damaged or if it's stolen, that they are responsible for the full price of the work. They are responsible to compensate you for anything that is damaged or lost. So I have pieces in about seven, seven or eight places around town. You don't even know where your pieces are at, do you? That's why we instituted the gallery visits. Yeah, yeah, I was pretty bad at the gallery visits. Um, pretty much, I would take my pieces out to a place, it would be there, and then I would maybe go out to the place every year. Yeah, and you'd be like, I know what's there, because I have a notebook somewhere in the studio that says... <sighs> Yeah. But you didn't know where that notebook was, yeah. or if it even really existed. So the advice that I'm giving you here as far as keeping inventory in your art is based on the fact that I totally did not do that. I dropped the ball. These are pretty much rules that I've implemented now because of the fact that things got a little rough in my mind when it came to where my stuff was. I have everything listed on my online store. And the fact of the matter was that there was a point where if something sold online that I had out in one of the locations, there were certain pieces that I had no idea where they were if they did sell online. And I would have had to have gone out and visited all the places because I hadn't been there in a year. Birds on a wire. One says come on and the other says I'm tired. So... All the places are local, and because they're local, I can do my visits just in one day, uh, just going and driving to all the different places and stuff. And there are a bunch of benefits to doing this monthly that I've learned. Still have the checklist. What? Place two. Place two. Reason number one is that you get to leave the studio. You get to actually go somewhere. Leave the studio? What kind of racket are you running? We, we need to leave the studio more often than we actually do. I suppose. Yeah. Number two, you stay updated on what's going on with the businesses. Just in the last few months going out and doing inventory, it's amazing to me 
how many changes take place within the business, even a business that is deciding to move into a bigger space and bigger opportunities. It's amazing how much can change within a month. One of the businesses where I have my stuff, they talked to me about the fact that they were going to move to a bigger location, that there were going to be all kinds of other opportunities for my art and to do shows there, and that they wanted to hire me to do sculptures that hang from their ceiling. How cool is that? Reason number three is that you are not at the forefront of somebody's life, really. What? Yeah. What no, do you mean? You're not at the forefront of somebody's life. Nobody's really thinking about you all the time, so it's important for you to go out and touch base with the people that are representing you by having your work. Four. Number four. Going alive. Number four, like I said before, you know where your work is. That's that, that was a big one for me. You want to keep track of where your artwork actually is. Number five, you can replenish your marketing materials because, you know, it's important to replenish your marketing materials. And if you're going out once a month, you can replenish your marketing materials. Yeah, that works better than just pretending like your marketing materials multiply while you're away, which is what I did for a while. It wasn't very effective. No, no, not at all. Why is everything much taller than me? Here I am, checking things off. All right. For the YouTube. <laughs> yeah, good. All right, good. And number six, you want to make sure that you actually want your work in that place. If you're following up month to month, you could really get an idea of whether or not this place is the right fit for your work. So just remember, you guys, have fun doing the inventory. You get to leave the studio and go out and see your artwork hanging up on walls around town. That's, that's my most favorite part of it is going out and talking to people and seeing my artwork up because it looks amazing to me. Yeah, it's a chance to stand there and admire yourself and what you've created. Yes, exactly. And that's it. That's all I've got. If you guys have any questions for us, just leave them in the comments section below. And thank you so much for watching, you guys. I absolutely freaking adore you. You guys are awesome. And if you like this and you want to watch more like this, just click right over here to subscribe. And that's it. Say goodbye, Klee. Good day. Adios.